welcome to Lex TV once again. My name is Kerry J and I am your number one informant. My interest is always in keeping you updated each and every second. Please do well to subscribe to this channel, like our videos, share and leave your comments as well. You can also follow us on all social media platforms at Lex News Official. Let's get talking. Yes, yesterday you and I can attest to the heavy rainfall, the heavy downpour. I think <laughs> it was all across Ghana because eastern region, you rained in eastern region, you rained at Cape Coast, you rained at Accra, I can't tell for the other regions though. And you and I know Accra's, uh, Accra, the situation of Accra when it comes to heavy downpours, you know, when it drizzles a little bit, Accra experiences flooding, not to talk of yesterday's uh, heavy downpour, yes. You'd see on our website at lakesnews.com, we made a, a whole lot of um, uploads concerning yesterday's rainfall. You know, numerous parts of Accra experienced flooding yesterday, um, running through Kolebu, Tema Station, Weja, uh, uh, Ablekuma, Dansoma, and all those places, yes those places they experienced Jowulu and, and, and all those places they experienced uh, 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 flooding flooding yes and you know it's it's very nice and interesting to experience to to it's exciting you know to to find yourself in a country where it rains a lot because when it's raining the weather get um it, it, it's exciting you know you have to you feel like staying in your room or you know watching movies netflix and chills playing games or you know having a good time with your loved one or something yes but when you are when you find yourself in accra and it's raining there's not a time to have fun at all you have to be alert because water you know your room can turn to uh, a swimming pool at any moment in time so you have to be alert with your bucket and other stuff to scoop the water out immediately it comes in yes it's not nice at all yeah and and you and i know the effects the negative effects of flood and destruction of lives and properties and a whole lot and we've been talking about this thing like for some time now for years now this year accra has been experiencing the flooding that accra has been experiencing is, is way beyond imagination some years back yeah though accra used to experience flooding it wasn't to this level yes now it has gotten to a level where we can't tolerate it anymore and we are we are pleading we have been pleading with the government and it's like the government hasn't put any effective measures in place to curb this natural disaster is it keeps happening it keeps happening it keeps happening like of late be like the government you know they listen to one our concerns anymore like we are we did like that's what's happening in ghana of late and Hmm. One interesting fact eh, is that <laughs> government has decided to build a national cathedral instead of um, trying to, you know, put measures in place to care flooding. Government has decided to build a national cathedral. Yes, and people have been talking about it, and they have the right to, you know, Ghanaians have the right to talk about. The national the construction of the national cathedral everyone is talking about it from our mps to our artists our musicians our comedians our journalists our pastors everyone is talking about it because uh you know the old people used to say something i would say yeah 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 and yeah yes uh once upon a time his excellency you know the flag bearer of the ruling party made a pledge to god that if um god helped him win the elections he was going to uh, build god a national cathedral and yes he won the election so he has to you know fulfill the pledge but fulfilling the pledge you no know, you when you were when you were making the pledge you did it yourself all by yourself it was a single pledge Ghanaians weren't involved so Ghanaians don't get why you should include them. You should include their taxes, their money, 
into into fulfilling your pledge no that's what Ghanaians don't get that's what everyone is talking about and uh yes we will continue to talk about it but i don't think government will stop at anything will stop the construction of the national cathedral at anything he's not going to stop the national cathedral will be built yes but all we are saying is that see the money that has been invested into this con construction of the uh, national cathedral eh? just recently john kuma john kuma said uh, they had to go to Israel to, you know, get some sacred stone to use as the foundation of the National Cathedral so that when uh, 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 the, the, the building of the National Cathedral is completed and you go there to pray to God, you feel like you are in Israel, you know, praying to God. Like, that sacred stone will, will take you closer to God for God to, you know, answer your prayers quickly. Yes, yes. You know a lot a lot of things you you don't know a lot of things eh? like if we should sit down and calculate the amount of money that has been invested into the construction of this national cathedral if we were to put it into you know um um a, a channel where it will be used to uh, solve our flooding problems oh we would have been a bit okay at this moment Yes, it would have been a bit okay. Even Cape Coast, Cape Coast has also uh, started to, you know, experience flooding. Yes, but in the eastern region, I don't think eastern region is experiencing flooding at the moment. Yes, I don't intend to, or uh, you know, um, talk about flooding that much because as for flooding, it happens always. We talk about it. But they are not minding us. But we'll continue to talk about it. Just that we have decided not to waste time on talking about it. Let's move to our second topic, a very interesting one. Just recently, you saw Joyce Blessing's video. Yes, the one that she was drinking stuff inside and talking, talking things. Yes, that particular video. Yes, her lawyers, Joyce Blessing's lawyers are looking for the people, the person or the particular group of people who made that video viral who made that video go viral yes they are saying that that person or the, uh, that particular group of people who made the video go viral are trying to tarnish her reputation and 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 that that doesn't and that's no money yeah just blessing for one you are a gospel artist so you, you shouldn't be seen in certain videos portraying stuff like this. You know, you have done it. You have done it. So why are you trying to find the people who made this video go viral and, 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 and going ahead to say that they are trying to tarnish your reputation? How is that possible? You are the first person to, to tarnish your reputation. You did that by yourself. You tarnished your reputation by yourself, by, you know, portraying in this video that you are an alcoholic you are an alcoholic yeah and and confessing your love man you should see her in the video her eyes were you know were daisy like Neninina. you get it her voice and she was holding the bottle i think it was red wine yeah it was red wine in it and she was saying stuff and you are here telling us that the people who made the video go viral are trying to tarnish your reputation. What about you yourself? If you hadn't made this video in the first place, no one would have made it go viral because there, there wouldn't be any existence of a video as this. Come on. Ghana, eh? Last time I said it, when you come to Ghana, we are all comedians. Myself, I'm a comedian. We are all comedians. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, that's what I have for you today. I don't want to waste your time like I always say. Did you know that uh, you can take videos and pictures of incidents happening around you or in your neighborhood and send them over to Lakes News um, um, for publishing? And then you'd win a time... And other amazing stuff yes for more information you can join us on telegram at lakes news or uh, lakes news and more sorry lakes news and more yes to to get more information maybe there's this 
uh, a, a bad road network in your neighborhood or there's this poor drainage system or there's this anything anything any negative trend be it positive or whatever that can be found in your neighborhood you can just take videos and and pictures and add your name and location and stuff to it and send it to us on telegram yes and we'll publish them you know we are your voice we are here to help you with ghana we are one family we are here to help ourselves so look sharp look sharp we the word you for telegram yes this is lakes tv my name is Kerry Jenner, and until next time, sorry, this is Lake Steve. My name is Kerry Jenner. See you next time. Thank you.